Before we start this, I want Sindhu to talk something about present moment. Even I want to talk. We are done with part. Before we go to future, before agreement, please come back. Where is Ashita? Ashita, 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 not being in the past and like not being in the future, being in the now. Um, I think most of us know what the present moment is. I think we all have a hard time just achieving that state. So a really easy trick that I learned by doing the pattern now to be in the present is to focus on body consciousness. So that means like most of us, we've all been told that like we need to focus on something, yes, to be in the present, like like put your attention onto one thing and then don't move from that. Is it important to be in the present moment? Yes. Why? You cause a lot of pain for yourself if you don't be in the present. Really? Yes. I don't have pain, but I don't want to be in the present. I want to be lost in thoughts, future, 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 future. That means you're identified with your mind. You right. Are... What do I lose? When you when you're identified with your mind, you lose your consciousness. Yes. Beautiful point. Whatever you do in your life, you do it in the present moment, yes. not in the past or future. Yes. So you have to be in the present moment, right? Yes. Okay, so a trick I learned is to use utilize body consciousness. So, like, let's say you're focusing on me, right? You can't put your 100% focus on me because you're putting all of your focus externally. So, you have to put some of your focus inside of you. And the way you can do this is by focusing on any part of your body. Like for me, like it's really easy for me. Like a lot of people say breath, but sometimes breath doesn't always work. Like, like whenever, like sometimes for me, if I focus too much on my breath, my head starts getting weird. Sometimes you get a headache. So focus on like a neutral part of your body. That's really easy. So for example, for me, my stomach is really easy to focus on. So like if I'm listening to someone, half of my attention, or it doesn't have to be 50 but some of my attention will be like on my stomach and then some of my attention will be external, listening to someone else. And it becomes really easy to stay in the present moment. Don't give, don't give your 100% focus to someone else. Keep some of it inside of you and just like alternate and raise however much percent you want to give. I think it becomes easier to stay in the present than to you don't get hungry, you focus on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can even focus on the fire that gets in inside of the room. <laughs> Thank you. Sindhu. Sindhu is, by the way, he's going to be our expert speaker on this subject, subject matter expert on the power of now, very soon. And uh, Hashita on the magic patients. Oh, please come here, both of you once. I want to, you also come again. Give a clap to our directors. Uh, we are going to be the lead, the pilot team for our uh, young talent. Wow! Welcome, welcome, welcome. We expect a lot from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So some people want to leave early. That's why I want to finish it off fast. So, what is an agreement? Anything that you agree. Uh, madam, are you good or bad? Could <laughs> you tell me the answer? Tell me who is your enemy here? I'll ask them the same thing. <laughs> so whatever you agree, that becomes your truth. Okay, remember this. The way we are programmed is because, you know, I told you about the domestication, right? When your parents said, if you do this, you deserve a punishment, you agree. That's okay. You agree that this is wrong. Were you conscious then? No. So we make a lot of agreements in our life that program us. Every moment you are agreeing to things. There are a lot of agreements. 
You believe, you agree that, yeah, this guy is good. That, that, that guy will remain good for me. You decide it. You make a lot of agreements about yourself, about others with yourself, but whatever you agree, that becomes your truth. You make a lot of agreements with yourself. You form opinions about religions, nations, races. All those are your truths. You agree. Oh, this particular religion, this, these guys are really violent. You agree to that fact, that's your truth. You live it. I am a worthless piece of whatever. You believe it, you agree to it, gone. You are that. Your self esteem is gone. So when you are making agreements, you are not conscious. In the past, we were not conscious, but now, consciously, we are going to make four agreements with ourselves, which will like repair all the damage done. For so long, for the for whatever past you had, whatever hundreds and thousands of wrong agreements that you have done with yourself, and the after effects and the damage all will be done nullified, and you will get into a wonderful positive creation of your life. And these are those four agreements: Mexican wisdom. Earlier, the healing technique was Hawaiian wisdom. This is Mexican. This is Toltec's four agreements. It's a beautiful book. Now we'll touch upon the curriculum. But please read that book or listen to the audio book. The four agreements, that's the meaning. Don McGlue, right? Yeah, Don McGlue. Right? Yeah. You have his uh, interview. The four agreements, late in the fifth agreement, I think. The first agreement, okay. Can you read up? Read these agreements? Read it aloud. Okay, second one. Okay, third one. Okay, fourth. Okay, right now, check your belief. Are you doubting this or are you trusting this? These agreements. What are you thinking? How many are trusting? You don't know yet, right? Why are you trusting? How many people are not trusting? People who didn't raise hands for both questions. What question should I ask? <laughs> Give me that question. Trying. There's nothing called trying, you know that, right?
if you are not doing your best, you will never get to that point. So coming to these three agreements, three four agreements, first make this particular agreement, then we start with the thing. Okay, done. Sure. Is it clear? The Insta can do that. Doubt or nothing. All right. Okay. What is being impeccable with your word? How important is word? Really? Word. Word is important. Anything that you create starts with word. It starts with thought, but for the external world, it starts with word. Till you say a word, it's just written in your mind. But once you say a word, it's out. Nama ban. It starts creating. Okay. Why you should take care of your word is because word and thought are linked. Thought and word are same. If it is in your mind, it is called thought. If it comes out, it is called word. Both are same. But as long as it is here. Nothing gets triggered, madam. You are here to open the door, madam. I will give you a live input. All right. So, mantra, mantra, mantra. Suppose, Harshi Tiger. Are you a singer? No. Okay. You drive car, right? Yesterday you dropped me home. You are such a wonderful driver. For your age, I haven't seen anyone driving so well. Now I tell you, you are taxi kid. The worst I have ever seen. How did you feel? For the first three. Both statements. First one, what you created is in you. Second one, what did I create for myself? For the first one, you felt good about me. For the second one, you felt pathetic about me. It's not about your driving, <laughs> unless you agree to me. That's the power of the word. How many words we are speaking in our life in quantity? We don't even know how many words of white magic and how many are true. Really, Mohan, is it? Any other thing? It's casual. You don't mean it, but others take it. There was one uh, example given uh, in this book. A mother comes home after a stressful day at work. And daughter is just humming some song, and uh, mother says, "You have a very bad voice. Stop singing." That girl wanted to become a singer. She never became a singer because she believed that her voice was not good. Whereas mother didn't mean it; she was not in the right state of mind. So she she just created something. Every word is a spell. So every word is a weapon. So if you make an agreement that I will never be impeccable, means I'll never talk negative about me or about others. I'll not. Negative, I won't talk. If you want to think. But don't say it. Whatever you are judging, actually, you are judging the creation of God, right? Whether it be yourself or others, is it not? Do you have any right? No right. Whoever, whether it is yourself or others, you are showing that God <laughs> bad. Not. So make this agreement with yourself. You will see magic. You can 
I have seen one man doing wonders with this. Guess who it is? Patricia. Patricia. She doesn't run this uh, society with uh, money or anything. He says they're a great master. That's it. He will become a great master. Even if he is not. That's the power of the word. Today I am here spending a lot of time in Dallas just because of that one word he said in Dhyana Mahasattva, Dallas is our headquarters. Dallas is our international coating. He said that. That's it. I have a holiday in uh, New Jersey, Atlanta, but I am working here. <laughs> one word, making me work. We can say all oh, a lot of masters, you don't need to go. You just go to class. That's also a word. Anything can be created. So every word means very, very important. Try to pay attention to it. Make an agreement with yourself. Stay quiet. If some negative word is coming out, at least stop it. Give it some time. If you still feel like paying it after a few hours, okay, then you think of paying it. But before you say it, find out your intention. Why are you saying it? Are you saying it to let out your uh, anger? Or do you really want to make some changes in others? If you really want to help others, you speak different words with a different intention. Right? So we should be very cautious. People who talk with awareness will activate their Vishuddha Chakra. Once you activate your Vishuddha Chakra, whatever you speak, people just follow it. But that's the power you get, the word gets. All the gurus, they follow them just because they speak very carefully. Every day, they know the value of the word. So don't create black magic, create white magic, create miracles out of your words. That's the first agreement you are going to, no, second agreement, because you have already made this agreement, right? Second one, don't take anything personally. This frees us from so much of pain. This avoids pain for others. <laughs> this avoids pain for us. First of all, is it right to take anything personally? When I was young, I used to say to my girlfriend, like, you know, I am God for you. <laughs> what if I didn't meet her? I would have said that to some other girl. <laughs> right? What if she takes that personally? That's not truth. Suppose she is my daughter and you say, I love, I say, I love you. If she believes, what if some other girl was my daughter? I would tell that to her, right? I love my daughter. It doesn't matter whether it is her or her. But we end up taking everything personally. Today I take a very good class, people applaud and you know, wow, wonderful person, super glad you are. Koi aur leta yaha session, achha sa, to usko bhi tarif kerte ya. Hai na? Sir, mere bhai kyo kerte? Good or bad, and never it is personal. Your boss appreciates you. Wow, wonderful, fantastic job. If to someone else performing in the same way, you would appreciate that person. Is it just processing to your patients to always do the best? Without taking personally, I can do my best. Really? Yeah. I will take this class without taking anything personal. You praise me, you scold me, I don't take it personal. Still, I'll give my best because after going home, I want to sleep with satisfaction that I have given my best. I need that freedom. From myself. Okay. But if I take 
give us compliments personally tomorrow if you give the same compliment to others and feel bad important to you still everything goes on right does anything stop is it just seeing is it just seeing the truth as it is you are in a certain role to someone that's why you you are playing that role that role is important to them not you don't take it personally That is true. Taking personally, always, you know, you'll end up in pain. So there will be highs and lows. Something positive happens, you're on cloud nine. Otherwise, you're in pata land. So people are not doing anything for you. They are just doing any. Koi bhi hai udar. They they'll do the same thing. They'll say the same thing. They'll appreciate. Good or bad, they let out. They think you think that your husband lets out on you. No, he is letting out on his wife. You are there in that position. Don't take it personally. Same with him. This is truth. Okay, fifty percent of your pain vanishes if you follow this. Forty days you try four agreements. Forty days is not a time involved. Right? Uh, it's like not the actual, but uh, the whole purpose of it is to get the best. What purpose? Uh, what purpose? What purpose? It could be some message that I have to hear. The whole purpose is I mean, like good or bad. I mean, even the way they will message, so they are putting it out for us. Responding. Reaction yeah, reaction and response are two different things. Yeah. If you are conscious, it is called responding. Personal relationships is where you have doubt. Anyway, but you know, 
unless you say something personally in my heart to be your doctor for me you know when you think that the problem you know to say as long as you are taking things personally you will give control to others No, 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 I understand. Yeah. Yeah. You won't. You, you think that. That's your assumption about yourself. Trust me. Even being in truth, you think you will give your best. That's what you are. That's your assumption about yourself. If I don't think, take things personally, maybe my son or daughter, if I think I think I'm in a role, maybe I won't be a good father. No. That's your assumption. No, you will give your best. In fact, you will give better than what you are giving now. Yeah, you will be happy. Till you will do your best. It's possible. That's called water droplet on lotus. Tamara said, "Need to go tender." Brother, you are doing my plan. That's what I am saying. Consciousness working to your view. To oneness. Need a specific situation you're painting. Yes, huh. because don't take anything personally. As an example, I took a uh, uh, program like the same. With, I want to share. I want to do a session. If I don't take that personally, how can I do the best? Oh, you want to do it, so you will do it. I take. But personally. for that, I have to prepare myself to do. Um, Person, I'm taking personally to prepare myself. It's possible. You try the option of not taking it personally and still doing it. You won't do it unless you take it personally. Really? Yeah, no, I mean, then what yeah, for I mean, are you doing? What for are you doing? Are you doing it for the sake of doing it to benefit someone or for yourself? For myself. That's but selfish, then, right? At least you have that clarity. For myself, so that I can. Learn from it. That's what I feel. Then do it. Anyways, you will learn, and you do it. You don't take personally. Do it. It's learning will still be there. This is a simple thing, but when you apply it, yeah, in some places you think that you think that it won't work. That's an assumption about yourself. That's what I was telling you. It is. No, no, one thing is people imagine different situations in their mind. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I think that is a conflict that everybody is yes. personally, doesn't mean literally personally. Personally, I think I'm going to be a car. That we do in life, you are. You guys are so right. We do, we take things personally and do it. That drives us. But trust me, that alone gives pain. Can I tell my class which I? You observe this point. You are very pushy. You are very bad. Is that? Doing your best and what's 
Praise and blame these people, sir. When you, whenever you are praised, you are not praised because it's you. You are praised because of your contribution. You did something well, and you are praised. That's what makes you the most. No, no, no. Listen to me, sir. Listen to me. Sir. So you are praised, but I am praising you for the sake of the work you did, not because of you. If you give it to yourself, then you are taking it personally. Instead, you think now place for your own side, they will get that praise. Then you are not attached. Earlier, so when you are blessed, what is upsetting my work is not me. Actually, that is true. Everywhere it is the same. You should be able to see it. For that, ego has a problem. It complains. It doesn't like it. Ego doesn't like it. Neen gaapo the unko aldo ani jawar jab kuni. Neenu unko dene jago to. That drives you, but that blinds you. <laughs> as long as you are not, you know, aligning yourself to truth, you will always leave a scope for suffering. You want that? Don't follow it. Taking things personally blinds you. See what what happened to Dhritarashtra is you know he knows what is right what is wrong but his mind is not. Some sun should get. That's all. It blinds you. That's why he is shown as a blind person. It's not about what you do. It's about how you do. So. You have a daughter. She, you will love any other girl if that girl is your daughter, right? Right? Truth or not, it feels bad for your daughter. It's the same for you. If, in your place, if someone else is her mother, she will love her mother. Why will she love you? That's the truth of life. There will be situations in life where you will be blinded, and you will have a lot of pain. But masters, for example, Patriji. Lived his life like this with his own daughter. Then this won't be there. This won't. Be. Your system won't be there. Yeah. Just because we got benefited, we should not. <laughs> we should not say he's right. Okay. <laughs> he just lived like a master. He understood that whatever I say as I is a body-based thing, and body has death, which means uh, that I doesn't mean your soul. Whenever you are taking things personally, you are acting out of body consciousness, which is limited. So it is spiritually inclining you to the truth. You have this God as long as you are taking things personally. If I am personal, this is not good. I am not talking. See, Karthik, I am not even personal. This one, I am free. I will only do my best. Yeah, body based is usually. Actually, everything body consciousness, spirit consciousness, the matter of what they want. Body rental. Alan Kondi, even Alan Kondi, Kondi, Nisa Alan Kondi, Moon Alan Kondi, me. That's why all the people are not. I am not a soul. I am not a soul. I am not a soul. That's the great concept. That's where we are stuck, but that's the purpose of the drama. That's why we have certain emotions experienced. Pain is a certain emotions experience. I am a pain. 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 So, I am a pain. 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 But once your life dramas are done, it will wake you up again. Enough of drama, now wake up. Get up and sleep, please. So personal life drama, Sundanta Varku, you being in body consciousness justifies. But once you start getting into meditations and you start connecting to the truth, that means your soul is trying to remind yourself, come on, take a break. Meditation is not 
he kept started huh? keeping me out of illusion. Yeah. Nice. That's when I was reading this book. It says, don't assume. Have courage to ask. So when I called him and I asked him, I was not thinking. Why? He says, really? I'm so sorry, man. Thanks for bringing it to me. And immediately he sent to you. Previous 24 hours, he was a different character for me in my mind. He was a villain. He deliberately did it. He has lots of plans. He's very crooked and all that. And then I realized that he's a sucker. He is really a sucker. It was not intentional. So all that that I created in my head is because of my assumption. And I am creating my own realities. Right? Thank you, sir. Sir. Yeah, yeah, you know, you have to go.
But these agreements are within you, with you. It's all about you and you. About my own. With yourself, why do you want to define? Just keep keep giving your best. Why do you want to define? That's what I say. Don't measure it. Don't quantify it. If you quantify, your your mind is doing it, but your your energy maybe it, it can give more than what your mind thinks or less. But your soul knows I gave my best. This was my limit, and I could give. What I did give, what I could give. That's it. If you measure, that doesn't stop there. Maybe after after reaching that target, you think maybe I could give more, but I'm not giving because I thought this is my best. So don't measure. Don't bring the mind in. Be in that moment and keep giving your best. That's all. Example, you said you know, one of the most famous people. She is doing her best. Yeah, in the coral just the surface only. I mean, our measure is only just the surface only. Can I ask you, Jaisi, what is it? Our sambar ko Jaisi ko bhangu bhangu. I have taken so much. She didn't do her best. Ah, I don't know. Ah, yeah. Some or other way, right? 
కదా సతీష్ సార్ ఒకసారి ఉన్నారు సార్ యు ప్రేజ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ జస్ట్ లైక్ దాట్ యూ నో దాట్ ఈస్ నాట్ దట్ గ్రేట్ యూ స్టిల్ ప్రేజ్ నేను సతీష్ సార్ సార్ ఈ దట్ పర్సన్ ఈస్ ఆల్్రెడీ గ్రేట్ వాట్స్ ది పాయింట్ ఇన్ ప్రేజింగ్ యు ప్రేజ్ హిమ్ విల్ బికమ్ దట్ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు సీ లాక్ యు విల్ ఆల్్వేస్ క్రియేట్ నెగటివిటీ ఇన్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇఫ్ యు వాంట్ టు సీ what is there and you want to be grateful you will always multiply the positivity in you call in your hand which you will never give up that is true so just by following these agreements i don't like explaining things too much as i said i select the topics which then talk about themselves once you start to be known i'm not a promoter of things i don't like unless people ask me i don't even take meditation classes i am like that but i chose these topics for the corner and tour agreement along with meditation just because i felt it's a complete package for us anyone who can use open up on now they can always be in a in a state of love meditation open up on now and if you are able to follow these tour agreements you are always free and a joyful soul you will always vibrate in a very high frequency try it for a week you try that is take one agreement and try you will see the result like that first of all you will see where you are wrong that's the best thing to do and how many of us really uh, believe that we can create our own reality really can we whether you think you can create or you think you can't create even that that moment you are creating yes. you want to take it into your hands or not that's also a point where you are exercising an option you are choosing to remember that we have two choices you can say it's fate someone else is creating no i am creating choose choose the right thing because at least you will try this take responsibility of the whole of the creation into your hands you you might become a master if you say it's fate or someone else is creating then you will never become a master the thing is like uh, the whole thing is taking into creativity and uh, taking the action both are possible uh, so like the thing is like uh, i'm not creating but i'm accepting what of the things is happening so uh, that is what uh, yeah that's a very very good point uh, it's very important actually the formula which i'm going to give you here is uh, again from the power of now in future uh, sindhu will take a lot of questions on this accepting doesn't mean compromise accepting means okay it happened it's already done now i can't do anything about it i can't change the past now what now what this kind of person will always become a master something yeah he will take he will first accept things as they are will not say why me why at this point of time no why 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 as long as you have this why list of why there's no acceptance a person full of acceptance is able to be composed and quiet in the in the time of you know crisis what else can we do 
If you are wise, you will accept. If you are unwise, you will react, will complain, will blame. All of that is going to come back. Twenty-four. So a wise person will always say, "The fundamental here is compromise." I'll tell you the how the perspective should be. I am going. I'm walking. Somebody comes and hits me with a bike. Okay. Am I responsible for that? No. I didn't do anything. But he came and he injured me. Right? I have to react. I mean. But a master thinks there were so many people on the road. Why did he hit only me? Such person will become a master because he is trying to blame himself for whatever he is going to create. He has created. Take responsibility. Not ninety nine percent, hundred percent of whatever you create in your life. If you take responsibility of it all by yourself, then you have chances of mastery your own creation. If you leave even one percent, like yeah, ninety percent it is. Uh, Ten percent is some someone else created. That ten percent will stop you from becoming master. Take hundred percent. Yeah, sir. Yeah, after uh, taking this meditation, what I thought, and what I believe is that so whatever happened, like uh, the example, the right example you said, the bike. So the reaction, the reacting is something like the visual visual part. So in the meditation, what uh, what I learned is uh, instead of bike example, let me take my own example. So if something was happened to me, so in the profession when you are working, when you are, if something happens, uh, if I am sitting here, so whatever it is there, uh, at that moment I had accepted that, uh, and whether it is good or whether it is bad, something maybe even even if it bad happens to me. I was thinking. I mean, um, day to day basis. So something the masters are telling to us. Something the nature is telling to me. Like, uh, okay, uh, this is something is happening. This is for good only to me. So that's what I am believing. Okay, it is leading to uh, quality of uh, life, good happiness, joy, whatever it is, rather than always that why did this happen to me? Why? 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 Instead of that question, this is relieving that pain, and uh, I'm not creating the reality. But the thing is, like whatever you said, I'm accepting it. So that's what uh, I mean. Now I understood, like uh, acceptance and acting. Yeah. So if you accept, you will start thinking into okay, what now? Otherwise, you are stuck in the past. So sir, I understood the accepting part. Can you help me understand acting part? Accepting the past, sir. I feel that I am in danger. Rani, I point that I accept that you are not in the present moment. You are wasting your time. Bad word. You are doing good things. You are karma. You are accepting. I point that you are doing. And yes, you are doing. You are doing. Acting. You are doing. And all of you are doing. 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 अवसर <laughs> 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 Abangana, I used to give a smile. Just a smile. Give me just smile back. In Brave Juice, to our color activity, then I mother will do it. Is to the best start again. 
నేను If you take responsibility of it, you won't expect him to do it. But if it comes, you'll take it. You're open. Once, so but uh, the situation that you're facing, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what has been like if I were if I'm in India, so yeah, definitely we will see like if it is farming, we are just going to yeah. The thing is the financial part, and we should insist them. Say for if it is not a risk, so that that is also an act. Uh, our mind, our nature is telling to us, okay, that is correct reaction. That's what I'm saying. You know, when you change, then you allow him to just not do it. Or sometimes when you do change, yeah, that. Part of peace is always the right part. And you should be able to be peaceful even in that moment. You can say split second log. You can say that your life will match it. ఆలోచనలోబిలిటీ i think uh, time is up for us so we conclude very great session sir thank you as long as it is useful i did my best you made us think yeah yeah one more round of applause sir please thank you so much knowledge that's how you have taught us so it was such a wonderful oh, i am uk to learn i can't explain that easy to understand yeah. easy to follow so it was really good sir thank you thank, thank you. you thank you and uh, thank you so much everybody you guys were you rocking were like questions yeah, sir, understand <laughs> not just listening but, uh, yeah. unless you go with the regular examples yes. correct sir yes just yes. 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 ఏదో వినడం కోసం వీని వెళ్ళిపోతే లాస్ట్ జాబ్ కరెక్ట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ లైక్ అ బైక్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సో బైక్ ఇట్ చెప్పండి చెప్పండి బైక్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ గిట్ చేస్తే మనం యాక్షన్ చేస్తే ఇట్స్ డిఫరెంట్ బట్ ఇక్కడ వెర టు సినారియో వన్ సినారియో ఇంటెన్షనల్ గా హిట్ చేస్తే కాపో ఇంటెన్షనల్ గా మిమ్మల్ని ఎందుకు టార్గెట్ చేసారు నా చెప్పండి మీరు వైబ్రేషన్ కంపేర్ చేయాలి మిమ్మల్ని ఎందుకు చేశారు దాని డీటెయిల్స్ ఎక్కడికి వెళ్తాయి అంటే ఒకసారి పాస్ట్ జన్మకి వెళ్తాయి మీరు కంప్లీట్ చేయండి మార్చలేరు వన్ పర్సెంట్ లో మొత్తం లీక్ అయిపోతుంది
if you take 99% of responsibility and you still give chance for one person which is not in your hands, you want to think that, yeah, that's not mine. I'm not responsible for it. You can blame that one person for every failure of yours in, in your creation. You have to take, first thing is to take, <coughs> to get mastery over your creation. Thought creates reality, right? If you take all the reality that you are experiencing as your creation, then you will go and look at your creation as a microscopic level. But if you say, maybe this I am not responsible, you will blame that one person as the whole, you think you will give the whole responsibility to that one person. You will never work on your, yourself. What happens is when you take 100% responsibility, you will go deep within and see where exactly you attracted that. Somebody is taking. That 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 thought is creating a reality. Is that something? Yes. I was in. I will tell you an example. I was in Nepal. Did you hear about the earthquake, the massive earthquake, 2015? I was in the middle of Nepal, in the in Kathmandu. Okay. I was so aware in that moment of earthquake that I was absolutely safe. So many people died in the same hotel, including the owner, he captured his life. I was so aware. I don't know why previous evening itself, I started thinking about it. I don't know why. I was so aware that when the earthquake happened, the majority of the people, at least 99.9% of the people are in shock. They want to go back. They are reacting to the situation. They are thinking of what about, but I was so calm. I immediately bought a tent. I stopped being in the hotel. I stayed outside. I put a tent and I started staying there. Every night there were aftershocks. People were running around from the, whenever there is a, there is an aftershock, the whole building moves and all of them will run out, stay in the, in the freezing uh, temperatures for one hour or one and a half hour. Then they go back again and shake, again they come back. But I was sleeping. Happily in the tent. I immediately took the decision. If there was an earthquake, okay. Where can I get a tent for rent? <laughs> that is your no, what I'm saying is if I am yeah, I know, but acceptance in a situation like okay, immediately you get into the acceptance, instead of reacting, you will do the right thing then first. Then you will have time to see why are these things happening. And responsibility is not always at an individual level. There is a responsibility at a human level. Who is responsible for the Ukraine war? Humans or any other species on the planet? Humans? So you are also responsible, right? Can you say I am not responsible for the Ukraine war? You are. Humans are responsible. Humans are created, right? Are you a human? You belong to humans, right? So you are responsible. So at a higher level, you are responsible for everything that you experience. Yeah, just so for example, they said to uh, see tsunami, right? It happened because of the There is a limit uh, yes. when we have come to the this. The problem is the karma and the past life come into picture after a point. That's that's where we cannot justify. For that, you need spiritual really your ability to see your past life and knowing the real reasons why you are going through this. Logically, we have a limit for this. For explaining this. But don't rule it out. Don't say everything past life because you will not master anything else. Next year, but my session is next year. This is my last week. Thank you. Thank you.